In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Perhaps it might be said rightly that there are three times. A time present of things past, a time present of things present, and a time present of things future. Those are the thoughts of St. Augustine reflecting on time, reflecting on time in his Confessions, written at the turn of the 4th and 5th centuries. He makes there a really important observation. In it, he preempts the discoveries of modern neuroscience and psychology by a millennium and a half. His point is simply this. There is a sense in which all our perception of time is mediated by the present moment. We exist in the present moment with our minds constructing the past and anticipating the future through memory and imagination. In other words, of all the things that we might say about time, the simplest and most true would seem to be this. Time is not a commodity. But we live in a world which measures time endlessly as if it were. Our world pays by the hour and calculates by the week. We feel enslaved by our diaries and under the cosh of our watches and alarm clocks. And yet all the evidence of antiquity, of modern neuroscience and of contemporary psychology points to the opposite. Our experience of time is actually an emotional thing. It emerges out of memory and is entirely elastic and subjective. And if that is so, then to give of time is not to give of a commodity that has monetary worth. No, to give of time is actually an emotional response. To give of time is to give of yourself. It is to connect from the heart. It is to be empathetic and imaginative and creative. Now we're thinking this Lent about our PCC's stewardship campaign and ways in which we might support our parish better. It's important not to forget the crucial gift that each of us can give, which is time. Now, I spoke last week about how we might make some theological sense of giving of our financial resources to support the ministry of the church. I want to think this week about giving of our time and about how we might breathe some new life into the culture of volunteering here at All Saints. The honest truth about our parish is this. It only functions because a large number of people give freely of their time and talents, very often behind the scenes. We're increasingly finding, however, that most of our rotors need more people. Some individuals have done jobs for years and want to step back and hand over to someone else. Many areas of our church's life rely on an increasingly small number of heroic individuals who do most of the work. We need more volunteers in nearly every part of our parish's life. Our PCC is hoping that every person here will spend some time thinking this Lent about how they might give of their time more creatively and more imaginatively. 
For me, though, this isn't just an exercise in saving money or cutting costs. For me, giving of time is really important because it represents a giving of that which is most precious to you. It is giving of the present moment to Christ. It's about embracing a part of our parish's life and making a personal commitment to ensuring it flourishes by your presence and your attention and your love and your care. Now you should all have been given this morning a sheet with your hymn book containing suggestions for areas where our parish needs more volunteers. It's also been posted out to every member of our electoral roll as part of the, the mailing that took place earlier on this week. There are lots of areas where we particularly need help. We need extra people to staff the church in the afternoons to welcome visitors and to be part of our church welcoming rota. There's need for volunteers to help with sacristy work, laundering altar linen, cleaning silver, all that kind of thing. We desperately need extra people to help with refreshments and welcome on Sundays and on big feast days. Huge amounts of gardening time are needed to keep our courtyard outside looking so beautiful and to decorate the church with flowers. We need volunteers there as well. Have a look at that list of suggestions and see if God might be calling you to volunteer in an area of our parish's life where you think you could be some help. But as you do that, as you look at that list, dump all those utilitarian ideas that time is simply a measure of money. Because it's not. Giving of your time is about consecrating the present moment of your lived existence to Christ. It's about encountering him through working with your brothers and sisters in Christ to promote our parish's mission. And it's about making your faith real and visible through a personal commitment that is emotionally generous. Above all, it is about giving of yourself to the one who gave himself to you. Amen.